Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have some of the craziest, biggest PlayStation Sony news when it comes to huge mega like I'm talking those big TV show moments, where it's essentially a massive potential Sony takeover on one of the biggest companies in the entire planet in the gaming sphere, and basically this is one of the biggest drama bombs we've had a chance to go and see in a very long time. Now, if you guys do or do not know, there's been a really, really big like trickling of just bad monkey effects like I forgot what the exact movie is called if you guys happen to know or it's like the butterfly effect there you go when it comes to just things being changed we have one thing that comes out and then an entire like avalanche kind of comes down and explodes all over people and this has been rough because Bungie's been doing layoffs they've had really horrible morale and right now it seems like Sony is actually on the verge just doing like a complete massive corporate takeover and things are going nutty so we're going to talk about this talk about the drama talk about everything else in between because this is ridiculous and this is some big stuff that's coming out all of today and as well if you guys are brand and even she is our subscriber. We do have a brand new giveaway. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that. And as well, check out the Twitter link down below. In the comment section, we also have three brand new links down below for the Samsung promotions. We're thanks to a bunch of brand new cool tablets. We'll actually have a few more things to go talk to you guys about in the next few days for that one. But if you guys are interested in that for that for Christmas present, whatever, those are linked down below. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below too. As well, if you guys want to follow, and let's dive on into this video itself. So as you guys know, PlayStation did go and buy Bungie. Right now, Destiny 2 is a PlayStation game, although the morale for that game from the community has been very, very low. Basically, a lot of the past recent expansions haven't been doing so well. There's been a really big influx of microtransactions, and a lot of big things that have been going on with the game that haven't been so good. Now, recently, there was actually a huge, huge wave of layoffs for the game as well. And this kind of led a lot of folks, especially working with the company itself or the content creators in that industry. But on top of that, a lot of folks, too, just like in the general gaming industry, being worried. And that kind of led to a lot of bad stuff where basically Sony is saying, hey, maybe no more soon. Where Bungie devs are saying the atmosphere is soul crushing amid layoffs cuts and fear of a total sony takeover the destiny 2 and marathon developer may not be able to cling to the last of its independence forever as you guys know Bob bungie was his own individual studio and then it was like kind of a big partnership with xbox the game pass and now got bought out by playstation but basically playstation was trying to be like hey you guys do what you got to go and do we'll trust you and well due to the fact that it's not been performing they may say no we're stepping in so one month after a major round of layoffs impacting roughly 100 bungie employees of 1200 those remaining at the Destiny developer say the cuts, as well as the other cost-cutting measures, came alongside an apparent scramble by studio leadership to avoid a total Sony takeover. As it currently stands, Bungie is on paper a fully independent subsidiary of Sony, so basically it's not like directly in control, they just basically own it, and they're like, hey, just do whatever you gotta go do. But its board of directors have been divided since the takeover of July of 2022. Among its current members are PlayStation Studios head Herman Holst, Sony Senior VP Eric Lampel, Bungie co-founder Jason Jones, Bungie C T.O. Lewis Villages and Bungie CEO Pete Parsons. The board is a whole split between Sony and Bungie representatives, with Parsons saving as a tiebreaker vote. But speaking to IGN under a condition of anonymity, anonymity, multiple current and former Bungie employees described the department meeting that took place shortly after the layoffs, in which leaders hinted that the shared power may not last forever. Basically saying that Sony owns this place, so they can do whatever they want. But right now, they're kind of giving that little leeway. They're like, hey, we, we have a big say, but like, we'll trust you. You've been around. At a certain point, like, hey, you're not making profit. Let's get rid of you. So basically, while the exact details of Sony's deal to acquire Bungie remain unknown to the public, sources say that they were told by leaders that the current split board structure is contingent on Bungie meeting certain financial goals. If Bungie falls short of certain financial thresholds by too great of an amount, Sony is allowed to dissolve the existing board and take full control of the company. And the Destiny 2 expansion, the final shape, delayed into the next fiscal year, and Bungie still investing heavily on Marathon. Many employees understand that Bungie is struggling to meet these necessary targets due keep the last vestige of freedom such a takeover wouldn't be really that bad you know big because they did already buy the company but nevertheless basically make that the company is now a pure place and subsidiary instead of having that core that Bungie had before so this threat basically was looming with this Bungie leadership and that's why they actually had a chance to lay off those 100 employees basically saying we need to get to these financial goals to maintain our board seats and make sure like we're still Bungie rather than a PlayStation Bungie and that's why they uh, cut off so many employees and by also as well a lot of employees might be at risk in the future too so the cost cutting at Bungie is limited to just personnel, multiple current employees confirmed to IGN that the company has implemented numerous other cost-cutting measures recently, including a studio-wide hiring freeze, reduced travel budgets, elimination of holiday bonuses, which sucks, with Christmas around the corner, and keeping its annual Bungie Day virtual, delaying its week-long company Penthalathalthanam event to next December, and reducing numerous morale events such as cooking and knitting classes from monthly to quarterly. Bungie is also pausing or fully ending benefits like annual employee compensation adjustments 
to meet market rates, its new hire launch program, employee donation matching, its peer recognition program, and gift cards for employee birthdays. Its yearly studio performance bonuses this year will be only contractually obligated 8% minimum above, uh, after being above 100% for good performance as well. So basically, they're saying like, hey, like we have to give of all these extra bonuses, like the Christmas bonuses, gift card bonuses, maybe even things like 401k matching going down, employee like health insurance, stuff like that, may be potentially affected, which are really good benefits. Like a lot of folks have stated that they like working at Bungie. I know Bungie devs that are literally in Seattle working at Bungie. And this is kind of making me scared because it just kind of seems like, number one, Bungie and Destiny as a whole has been doing bad, which makes sense. Like Destiny 2 has been in a very mediocre spot in the community. I know a lot of Destiny streamers. I know a lot of Destiny YouTubers. And a lot of them were not happy with the state of the game. Like right now, there's basically like another six months or so before the next big expansion happens. And Marathon also may have been delayed in terms of leaks. So Bungie either at this point just kind of knows like this is either our last stand. Like we got to make sure this next DLC is good with all these microtransactions to meet these financial goals. And also trying to go cut the fat of the company and trying to go and be like, hey, like we didn't lose $5 million, guess what, we only lost $3 million, or whatever arbitrary numbers they may be, to maybe try to go and slow that bleed, because if you lose the board seats, number one, they're very hard to get back, and especially if you're the initial founder and you lose that, that's a soul-crushing defeat. Now, if you choose to sell the company, it's kind of what happens, it's in the contract, it makes sense, it's Sony's call, but at the end of the day, like that's that's rough, that's basically the end of Bungie as we know it. Although right now, Destiny 2 has been doing the best, and on top of that, other games have taken a very, very slow crawl. Now, I'd rather have a good game rather than a rush game but at the same time if you're just not doing well and people in the community are not happy with your game and especially with the layoffs too i've seen a really big like uh i guess just vibe shift when it comes to everyone to talk about destiny 2 destiny 3 or even just bungie as a whole where a lot of people are not happy a lot of folks have been affected by layoffs and people there are afraid of losing their jobs and even right now they're saying these articles and leaks saying that people are gonna be worried about this in the future they're saying we need we know we need final shape to do well one source told ign and the feeling at the studio is that if it doesn't we're definitely looking at more layoffs so right now these people basically have to worry about this they're saying that the mood in the studio has been so crushing over the last month it doesn't even sound like the manager's even making any efforts to make that better. So basically, instead of them being like, hey, like we're going to have a good meeting and have like a good more you know, community vibes, they're like, hey, we're getting rid of this stuff. Uh, so basically, a lot of sources are saying, too, as well, that the Bungie employees who were laid off were beloved community leaders within the studio, including many who had uh, spearheaded employees' inclusion and support efforts. Several people we spoke to expressed anger at the layoff of Bungie's general counsel, Don McGowan, who played a key role in Bungie winning a historic suit against the player who asked a Bungie developer. So basically, people who have been a part of this. We also made a video as well saying about like the guy who made the literal Halo theme song, the oh, like that song Lily was also fired when it comes to this stuff. Like, they're going nuts. Those are a lot of big other people too as well for these uh, various bungee clubs too as well and the people like with the accessibility and all of that and we also have had a lot of big drama when it comes to playstation when it came to them getting rid of the hacking like basically people that are you know meant to be helping against the hacking squad and that means the multiplayer has been really really bad and this has been rough. They're basically saying that Bungie's are eroding. Saying another anxiety source has discussed with us that many of the reductions made at Bungie were recently part of a broader move towards outsourcing. So instead of having a lot more of American-based employees, they're maybe trying to go in again to outs like overseas, which is also a big problem just for domestic you know stuff because you want to have more. If you're American, you want to have American jobs. Just how it is. You know, it's fine if you're not. I get that. And they're saying like there's been a big, big plethora of layoffs everywhere. Microsoft, PlayStation now, and other various gaming studios, and some gaming studios going bankrupt and just being done. And we see all this type of stuff right now happening in front of our eyes. So if I was working at Bungie right now, I'd be worried. If I was working at Bungie, I'd be scared because this is like my job on the line as of right now. And they saw a lot of like mysterious departures too before this. They even say they had a huge mysterious departures in the month before the layoffs and also noted a team-wide culture shift towards the general pool of testers consisting of both in-house and also outsourced folks too as well. So right now they're having people that are scared about losing their jobs. Like Sony themselves might have to go and step in and basically Bungie is basically like you know just freaking out because they want to make sure they can maintain their boards and maintain the game and maintain their company but at the same time PlayStation might be like hey you guys are just hemorrhaging money right now and as if this next expansion doesn't do well, there might be a lot of jobs that might get lost. That makes me sad because I think overall Destiny folks are cool. Like I've, I've enjoyed the vibe. I think I've heard a lot of folks saying they would want to work there and they enjoy the benefits and everything. But at the same exact time, it's just sad to see that there's so many issues and so many problems with this and people are worried about their jobs. So right now it seems crazy. Like PlayStation might go and completely take over, although they did already buy it, so they definitely did, but I'm sure you guys understand the difference in the corporate structure of it. And this is scary. Like I'm very scared for a lot of folks in the gaming industry 
industry. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on and check out those three brand new Samsung hashtag ad and Samsung links down below in case you guys are interested in the brand new tablets. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below if you guys want to follow. And uh, I just give me your thoughts. I want to hear it down below.